know we're going into this is the fourth year. This is the uh, fourth year at the, the tournament's existed. It's only my second year of involvement. It's Walter's tournament. I get involved because I, I, I love Walter Gretzky. He's a heroic figure to me, very inspirational. Uh, I've, I've, I've kind of read his book at a time in my life where I was very low, and it brought me out of that. Uh, that the, the dumps and 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 since then he's he's been kind of anytime I, I I I seriously have a pin on my coat this is W W uh, G D or something like that. what would Walter Gretzky do that's how I leave my life now I sit there and go like before I make a decision what would Walter Gretzky do which is weird but I'm like <laughs> <laughs> it's weird on some and, and it's great like yeah, career wise and, and as you know, approach most things in life. It's really hard when the wife is like, let's do it right now. And I'm like, what would Walker do? <laughs> and sometimes I call him like, should I do it, Walter? He's like, yeah, do it. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to get involved in a big bad way. I, I found this tournament online. I was just, I was Googling uh, Walter Gretzky. And all of a sudden, there was one image I saw for the street hockey tournament. I was like, oh my god. And I'm reading up on it. At first, it seemed like the, the second year, I guess, was dedicated most to the kids. And so I was like, oh, I couldn't play even, even if I wanted to. But the first year had been about adults. So then I got in touch with Pat Shuchuk out in Brantford, who was like, hey man, is that tournament going on? Can adults play? And if not, can I play against the children? <laughs> uh, and she said, we'll include adults if that's the case. I was like, all right, because I would kick a nine-year-old's ass, I'll tell you that one. Um, so uh, suddenly I, I was involved. Suddenly I was like, you know what, I'm actually going to go by myself. I got the people from the website that I hang out on, my own website and message board there, involved and whatnot. I think it was on Twitter at that point, I got some people involved there, and I was just like, let's build teams and go. I'm building a team, bringing some of my friends, and we're talking about people, again, who haven't like done anything athletic in years. I've been with this dude, Scott Mosier. My whole professional life has been my producer. Side by side, we've made movies, gone through these huge adventures, highs and lows and shit like that. We've never so much as taken a walk together, you know? Like, <laughs> we don't do physical things. We sit behind desks all day, or sit in chairs on sets, or sit behind huge piles of cocaine with hookers every day. That's, that's what you do in Hollywood. You don't get ready, you don't get any exercise. So, the fact that we were able to get out there and play side by side, like, I was playing with this dude in a different way. Like, all of a sudden, he was, he, was, he was my center and stuff, and then he would come back and play the facts too. And I'd be like, Scott, block him! You know, screaming at Scott as this dude's rushing at me. And it did. Scott looking at me like, dude, you're usually so calm and collected. I'm like, don't let him score in front of everybody! You know? <laughs> it was, a, it was a, a fantastic feeling, one that I want again, again, again. So I'm going to do it again this year. Um, what, what's going to be a little bit different this year is, and I don't think that's it's in any of the uh, pack, press packet that you've seen so far. Bear with me, I'm still, I'm sweating as well. Um, Can you switch the mic? Yeah. yeah. What, that mic? Yeah. Is it dying? Is this better? Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, what we want, what I want to do this year, me and, and uh, Clayton, who works, uh, is, I don't want to get it wrong, it's BNI, right? Ball, or BHI? Yeah. Ball Hockey International. Thank you. Um, Clayton, I, Clayton came up with this idea, and I was like, oh, I love this idea, this is great to go for the record this year. On behalf of Mr. Walter Gretzky, there is a Guinness Book of World Records for street hockey tournament. There's a number, and I have it written down. Thank you. But I wrote it down, so it kind of <laughs> I mean, I rarely write anymore, so you know, it's all email. Um, according to Guinness Record uh, website, the record for street hockey uh, teams in a tournament is 192. That was set in Lady Smith on Vancouver Island in 2007. Now, people, Brantford is not what fucking two hours, not even two hours from the hockey, the center of the hockey universe. To have Vancouver have this record is shameful. <laughs> I'm not even Canadian, and I can't sleep knowing this. <laughs> So for us this year, to break this record, to bring us kind of back where it belongs, back east, where hockey was created, because I don't know if you guys know this, Vancouver's only existed for like 20 years. Um, you know, but hockey was born out here fucking 4,000 years ago. <laughs> I believe I read that somewhere. And this is where it belongs, so we're going we're gonna to bring it back here. And the aim for us this year is to break the... All we have to do is get 193, but I said we can get an even 200, if not more. So, thank you for the next few months, all I'm going to be talking about, aside from like whatever else they make me talk about, is this tournament. I'm going to be out there promoting online. I'm going to be out there talking about it. On, like I'm doing press all day tomorrow for, for this movie we got opening up called Cop Out. I, I, they're not going to be able to ask me about anything because we'll be like, have I told you about the tournament? And they're going to be like, yes, yes, yes. 
Um, I, I'm whoring this thing from coast to coast uh, because I want to break the, the record and I want to do it for, I think it's a wonderful gift to give back to a man and have him in the Guinness Book World Record. His son is in so many record books. Fuck that kid. Get this guy. <laughs> We're gonna go for. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping like all we need is 193. I'm looking for 200 teams. I myself last year I bought four teams. Yes, um, and I, I wrote them down because I smoke a lot of weed now. Um, <laughs> Puck you. That's my team. We brought that team. I brought two, uh, three other teams. One called the Reapers, uh, the Monroeville Zombies, and the Busco Bulgarians. This year we're bringing three additional teams. So I'm 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 bringing seven teams. I'm trying. You know I can't look. I'll bring. 200 if I have to, but help me out, people. You're Canadian. Uh, I'm bringing in seven teams, and the three new teams I'm bringing with me this year uh, is a team called the Fun Employees. Um, we have a team called the LA Mings. There's a gentleman in an organization named Ming, and they named it after him. I thought it was really great. But this one is absolutely inspirational. We all think of hockey, naturally, we think of dudes. We're bringing an all girls team this year, folks. So this is not the. Uh, those fucking sausage parties. Chips to come, man. And we're looking for chips to come. So we're bringing a team called the View Scoop Girls, Vag for short. Um, and they will be playing in the tournament too. So ladies out there, if you're hearing this or if you're reading this and you're just like, oh, don't come and watch, come and fucking play. Come put your stick down on the ground and let's play together because I can beat a girl. Um, the more girls that play, the better for me. Um, but please, come on out. It's going to be a great time. You know what the dates are. And now we're going to open up to you guys and we'll talk. I'm sorry, I've, I've stolen the mic from the man who deserves it. Let's uh, let's open it up and hear what you guys have to say. Because that's kind of press conference, no? Are we done here? No. What'd you say? <laughs> this is the way you, Bob, not to have anything to say. Yeah, is there if, if, nobody really? <laughs> Kevin, what was your uh, record last year? Did you shut out? Um, did I? I didn't pay that much attention, which is my way of saying, oh my god, I was shameful. Um, first game, I think I got scored against seven times. I don't know what my shots against were. Thank you, sir. Um, the next game I did a little better, but the last game I actually won. And I was kind of, I was amazed by that. Did you get any advice from Mr. Gretzky? Uh, at one point, I heard him call me a pussy. Come on, pussy! Yes, sir. Uh, uh, no, no, you can't give advice to somebody as far gone as me. I think the best advice Walter gave me was, hey man, how about some like brand or Wheaties? <laughs> Wayne's got, uh, I'm up here, way up here. Up top. Wayne's got some free time right now. Any word if he's going to be looking to participate in this tournament as well? Wayne who? <laughs> Don't know for sure, honestly. Have you asked him? No. <laughs> I haven't seen him. It's called the Walter Gretzky Street Hockey Tournament. he has <laughs> <laughs> got enough of his own. What does it mean to you to be able to participate in something like this and, and for such a good cause? What does it mean to me? Honestly, it means the world. If I stand here and, and talk about a great life, you'll see me start weeping. I do that very easily whenever I talk about uh, my feelings for this man uh, and his family. Uh, it, it, it means a great deal. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing to kind of stand by the sidelines and watch people create history or, or watch people be part of history. It's another thing to actually touch that, even for a moment. And uh, being, being a part of Walter's life, even for this brief time last year, this brief time this year, it has been incredibly fulfilling to me. And for me, one of the top 10 accomplishments, achievements, things that's ever happened to me in my life, you know? And I've had a pretty cool life. But that's what it, it, it means to me, to kind of be involved. So, means that, I mean, obviously it means the world. Um, and, and to bring some attention to the cause as well, Walter Wayne Gretzky, uh, the CNIB uh, Blind Youth Scholarship Program. I mean, it's, you know, it's the cause that's close to Walter's heart, and like, it's gotta be close to everybody's heart. He's not, he's not crazy about blind kids, for Christ's sake. Uh, Walter, how does it feel to, now that we're talking about feelings, how does it feel to have him talk so passionately about uh, the causes you're involved in? Sorry. Walter, sure. how do you feel that uh, he, he's speaking so passionately about the causes that you believe so strongly in? She would make me cry if he here. I'm glad he stopped talking there. Because <laughs> it <clears throat> really touches me inside. He's a very caring, wonderful person. He cares for everybody, not just certain people, but everybody, which is, tells you what kind of person he is. 